Hey everybody, Monkey Wrench Mike here, just enjoying some time with my S55 AMG. First of all, I want to say thank you to all the uh, new subscribers. I think this is going to be the car that kind of puts me over that 15,000 subscriber mark. Still small compared to other YouTubers, large for Monkey Wrench Mike. Not in all respects. Okay, but I do want to say if you haven't liked and you haven't subscribed yet, do it, okay? Please do that right now. I can wait. Yeah, still waiting. Still waiting. Have you subscribed? Okay, now we can move on. Monkey, Monkey. Wrench, Mike. Mike. Yay! I'm in the car. Work continues on the S55 AM. That's Lola trying to interrupt me, trying to steal my spotlight. Yep, that's what she does best. Okay, so we have guys mowing over behind the fence right there. We have a dog right here interrupting us. And we have the devil planted on the tire. Look at this. Oh, ho, ho, ho. These things scare the crap out of me. Yeah, these things scare the crapolas out of me. I don't know why. Maybe because they're similar to June bugs. And I had a horrible experience with June bugs when I was a kid. Yeah, I was terrified. And I'll tell you more about that later, but I do want to show you what came in the mail. Okay, we got all kinds of little bits because we're trying to get the freaking wheels off because they have these stupid wheel locks. Okay, so what I did, I just threw money at it because that's what I do best. Okay, so we have all these Torx bits. So we have a T60 right here. That doesn't fit. That doesn't fit. I got a T70. None of these fit, okay? Yeah, yeah, I don't trust that one, okay? That doesn't fit. And a T80's too big. That guy's too big. So how are we gonna get these freaking things off? Well, fortunately, somebody on the gram, the IG, told me what to buy, and of course I bought the one that's too small, okay? So here's another one. This is, I don't know, whatever size. Nope, not at all. The guy actually looked at it, he knew what it was, and he told me to get this right here. Steelman 8-point star lug, 5 8 inch. And watch, this thing fits like a glove. Well, it comes out of the bag. Okay, here we go. See, look at that, see? You put it in, and it fits. Like a glove, baby. So what we're gonna do is take these wheels off and we're gonna go put uh, air in them and see if they hold air. That one kind of holds air. This one didn't, but I wanna show you. Do you notice something? It's been about five days. The car has not sat. The ABS system appears to be working. Yeah, she hasn't lowered at all. I was able to fill this one up with air and that one up. What are you doing? You're always in my business. Why are you in my business? And I filled the front one up with air and then my air machine broke, okay? Typical for Monkey Wrench Mike. But see, the ABS system appears to be working. It appears to be holding the hydraulic fluid where it's supposed to be. So what we're gonna do, if Lola will leave me alone, we're just gonna take these off and we're gonna run to Quick Trip and put some air in them and hopefully they will hold some air. Let's do that, let's do that right now. are now back at Quick Trip. Yeah, again, I love this place. Well, they have free air. And since every one of Mike's uh, air pumps is uh, broken, yeah, everyone is, use the right verb, adverb, yeah. So we have to come here to see if these things are even gonna hold some air so I can just drive the car around. So what we're gonna do is let there be air. And let's just kind of see what happens. Let's see what happens, you want to?
Look at that. So we're going to wait here for a while. The plan is to put 32 in there. I got 32 in the others, and we're just going to see how long they hold. The other two have been holding for probably a week almost, and that's good news. As you can see, we do need some tires. These don't even match, and they're all cracked. They're all cracked up. They're not cracked up to what they used to be. Okay, that's not even close. There we go, that sounds better. That sounds much better. Okay, so let's see what we got. All right, we got a long way to go. We got a long way to go. So we'll do this in the dark. All right, we'll be back. When you see the rock, you know where we are. Yeah, Casa de Moulet, house of the mullet. Yeah, business up front, fixing the cars in the back. So this is what they look like with air in them. And look how crappy they are. Yeah, these tires be old. I think, what is the date, 09? One of them's 09 and one of them is like 07 or something like that. So these are 13 and 11 years old, way past their due date. So we're gonna get these installed on the car. Right there. Very quickly as we're admiring the rust yeah beautiful yep 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 okay we got rust we got rust issues i want to show you my new fuel pump i went ahead and bought a bosch look how beautiful okay so this is a brand new bosch fuel pump i think Piersburg was the original that would come on these cars i have new little booties okay to cover the electrical connectors right here we've already installed the new fuel filter, okay? All the hoses look good under here. Look how clean, okay? Yeah, this looks good. Mike is happy. Mike is very, very happy. So we're gonna get this part buttoned up and then we're gonna see if we can uh, drain some coolant, put on a new coolant reservoir and we will change the oil and then we're gonna give her another start and let her run for a little bit, which is gonna be a lot of fun, trust me. Fingers are crossed on this one. Next up in our very long list of things to fix, yep, there's a lot missing. We're going to focus on the cooling system, which should be right there. Yeah, we should have a reservoir and it should be connected. It is not. All right, good thing I bought one. So what we have here is the reservoir. Thank you, Mr. Amazon, for getting it here so quickly. This is super easy to attach. Simply, uh oh, I'm caught on something. Let go. Let go. Okay. All these things go aside. And see, how about that? How about that? Yeah, we have a washer reservoir that we're missing as well, but I haven't ordered that yet. That's not as vitally important. Okay, so what we're gonna do, fix this stuff up, get it all attached, and then we'll be looking pretty. Okay, it's literally just a couple of hoses. And this one, that goes underneath right there. Okay, let's do that. All right, we're back with the part that Mike had to run and get at the junkyard. Yep, the old coolant reservoir temperature sensor. Don't forget that, okay? If you buy a car that's missing thousands of parts and you buy a, a coolant reservoir, don't forget that, like Mike did, okay? Now, the rest of this is gonna be very, very easy. You wanna attach this right here, which is kinda dirty. That's all right, okay? This should just attach. It should just attach. Why is it not attaching? Oh, mother son of a bitch. Success, all right, we have the reservoir attached. We took the bolts out that were plugged in right here. Wasn't that great? Yeah, okay, so if we replace that, everything's buttoned up. This is the overflow, which just kind of dangles. It's the dangling dongle. And we're going to drain, I don't think there's any fluid in here, any antifreeze, but we're gonna drain it just in case. 
Okay, and just kind of see what happens. All right, let's drain the fluid. Well, somebody accidentally deleted the video. Yeah, some idiot accidentally deleted the video that had all of the nice, green, good, gorgeous fluid coming out of the radiator. Okay, so I'm not worried about the radiator. I think everything's gonna be fine with the radiator. Okay, the hoses seem to be pretty good. This is good. I am gonna change, you know, the thermostat here, but the hoses. Hey, what are you doing? I'm making a video here. Come on, be nice, don't dig up my yard. Okay, so the hoses are good. These things all have a lot of life left into them. This thing is new. Um, and I do have some more parts coming. I have lots and lots of parts coming, but I do apologize that I did not. Well, I did and then I deleted it. Okay, so just trust me. What's in there was good stuff. What's in there, that's another question. All right, that's gonna wrap up video number three as we continue to rebuild the AMG. Yeah, look at her right there. She's looking pretty. That's not looking pretty. Can you see that right there? Yeah, that's a teaser. Take a look at this. Mike drained something, and this is what came out. No, I'm not going to drink it, but, oh, yeah, that's like, ugh. Okay, so, if you want to see what this is, or used to be, <laughs> you got to watch video number four. All right, everybody, that's it. This is the focus of video number four, what comes out of uh, some orifice. Is that too gross to say on YouTube? Yeah, this stuff came out, and Mike was very surprised. Mike is now very worried about that. Okay, but I want to say thank you for watching. I want to say thank you for subscribing. If you haven't found the merch yet, yep, I got merch. Check it out. I've got t-shirts and vests and hoodies. Even have a hat coming. I've had a couple people tell me they haven't been able to order a hat because I forgot to hit the right button. So we're going to have hats too. Maybe we'll have some Lola stuff. Would that be fun? She walks away. She doesn't care. Okay, if you haven't yet, please like, please subscribe. I'm having fun with this rebuild. This one's a fun one. It's scary, but it is very, very fun. So, until we meet again for video number four, all right? Have a good day, everybody. Bye.